Hi, I'm Robin Suggs. I'm the procurement manager for ASD's Appalachian Harvest Herb Hub in Duffield, Virginia. And today we're here to talk about one of my favorite woodland medicinals, Solomon Seal. What you see behind me is a medium-aged uh, eastern hardwood forest, fairly indicative of our elevation, around 2,400 feet in western North Carolina. We're on a northeast-facing slope, and what we have is pretty typical forest species. Lots of nice overstory trees like tulip poplar. We've got maple. We've got black cherry. We've got lots of uh, sweet birch. We've got understory species like the spicewood here and um, just really a great slope to uh, look for and to grow Solomon Seal. The Solomon Seal is an herbaceous perennial that's native to Eastern North America. Uh, generally occurs in moist, rich, wooded slopes or wooded sites like we have behind me. Typically it's um, a plant that gets anywhere from 18 inches to four, even five or six feet in height, depending on site and depending on uh, local land races and varieties, that sort of thing. Has a pinnately compound leaf, a tall arching plant. Leaves are alternate along a main stem with uh, flowers that hang down from the main stem. We can contrast that with what some people call false Solomon seal or Solomon's plume, uh, which has a terminal flower spike or inflorescence. When they're in fruit, the Solomon seal will have blue um, berries. Basically, they actually look like blueberries. They're obviously not blueberries, but the seeds are in these little blueberries that hang along the bottom of the stem where the flowers were. And the, the Solomon's plume or false Solomon seal has red, a cluster of red berries at the tip of the stem where the inflorescence was. They almost look like uh, little red pearls. You actually can harvest Solomon seal from late summer on through the fall, throughout the winter. There are some folks that also uh, prefer a spring harvested Solomon seal crop. If you're gonna be growing Solomon seal intentionally or you're going to be managing it sustainably on your property for market, you need to make sure that you're producing a, a product, a crop that is to your customer spec and part of that spec is what time of year it's harvested. Most root crops are harvested when the energy of the plant is descending from the tops into the roots, which is usually later in the season, from late summer, fall, into the winter months. The challenge with finding um, Solomon seal and a lot of these herbaceous perennials in the winter is that, of course, the, the Solomon seal plant is no longer present. So you have to get really good at identifying um, the detritus that's left behind when the top dies down, or you need to mark your beds in the summer or spring if you're gonna dig during the dormant season when the, uh, the tops aren't around. 